Hey risers, what's up? It's Haley McClenny. I want to give you a quick little warm up drill to do if you find that you, your back control is a little bit out of control. And a lot of times when we get in trouble as hitters, we're either way out in front on the ball, our timing's a little off, or maybe we're getting around the ball. Being too much of a pull hitter, that's where we can kind of find ourselves in ruts and slumps and in a little bit of trouble. And there's a warm-up drill that I do almost every single day to really get me grounded and really get me in a good position of staying inside the ball and finding my consistent contact point. You can do this drill off of a tee like I'm gonna do today, or you can do it off of front toss as well. Again, really just designed to get your hands in the right position and to make sure your contact point is exactly where it's supposed to be. So we're actually gonna take the lower half completely out of it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at about a 45 degree angle facing the tee, okay? So we're not all the way open towards the pitcher. We're about 45 degrees. And we're gonna get into a pretty neutral hand position. So slight bend in the knee, normal hand position here. And I want you to load from this position. And when you load from this position, we're really emphasizing our core getting tension here, but we're also creating that tension so the hands can freely move around that base that we're creating. So down here, slight bend. I'm here, I'm loading, I'm creating that tension. And I'm gonna try to hit this inside seam of the softball and I'm gonna drive it to the opposite field. So I'm here and just creating nice and easy line drives. Again, taking the lower half completely out of it. And what your tendency is gonna be with this drill is you're either gonna wanna come up out of your legs and that's gonna cause you to get around the ball and roll over, or you're gonna spin off, take your head away from the point of contact and that ball is gonna be a flare to the opposite field. So if you're connected and where you're supposed to be, it's a really good drill for you to just feel, feel that feel of where your bat is in relation to your body and creating really good tension there. So nice and easy. Just work yourself through this. You can go as fast or as slow as you want, but try to maintain that consistency, hitting a line drive to the opposite field. We're going gap to gap here. 45 degrees, bend it, load, create that tension. And you'll notice the more tension that you create, the more active your core is, the more power and pop that you're gonna have on the ball. Maintain control of that bat. Woo! All right, get a couple more reps in here. More tension, more control, better results. It's got exactly where you wanna be. Bang. All right, last rep, best rep here. You can continue doing this as many reps as you want to take today. Just a really great drill for you to see where your bat is in space. Bang. All right, quick and easy, done and dusted. Thank you so much for taking this lesson. Take it again. Make sure you incorporate this drill into your warmup to stay consistent with your bat control. I'm Haley McClinney. Till then, I'll see you next time. Peace.